Hey, welcome to Exclaim News Weekly. I'm Sarah. And I'm Callum. This week we're talking prize-winning Canadian songwriters, Sum 41's return, and festival season with a special guest. All that and more up next. Festival season has arrived again, and Callum and I here got our first taste of it a couple weekends ago. Literally, I think we both probably drank a couple liters of water during the storm that ripped through Field Trip. But we survived and we're just getting started. Of course, there are plenty more festivals to come, with Edmonton's Up and Down Town Festival, Toronto's Turf, and Camp Wavelength all announcing lineups. You can head to exclaim.ca for all the details on those, but for now, we have a special guest here who knows a thing or two about a good live show. We've got Steve Bayes from Hot Hot Heat and Mounties here to talk about festivals of years past. Uh, to kick things off, Steve, could you share one of your favorite festival experiences with us? Sure. Uh, one time we played uh, Glastonbury in the UK and um, it rained so much that we had to be carted around in jeeps with huge tires and the rainwater was right up to the bumper. It was so miserable to the point where it actually became fun again. Any advice, important advice, that you feel is crucial to give to the festival goers that are watching this right now? This is such like a nerdy dad or mom answer, but uh, if you can get the custom earplugs, music just sounds way better. So you mentioned that Mounties are playing some festivals this summer. What's going on with Hot Hot Heat? Funny you should ask, June 24, our newest and final album comes out. I've got some Mounties albums in the works. Um, I'm working on a new fur trade record. I've got a studio in Vancouver, so I'll probably just do a lot more studio work and tour with Mounties. Cool. Well, that's a lot to look forward to. Thanks for being on the show today. Uh, you're our first guest. And what? I think it went pretty well. Well, you guys nailed it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I kind of shut the bed, but... <laughs> <laughs> Steve's not the only one for Mounties who's up to something. Ryan Dahl's band Linlifter are set to celebrate the 20th anniversary of their self-titled debut album. The band will roll through Ontario, Manitoba, and Saskatchewan with more dates expected to come, and you can get all the details and updates over at exclaim.ca. That's also where you can watch the video for Linlifter's Hotel Knife, which was directed by none other than Steve Bays. <laughs> This week, SoCan announced 10 finalists for its 2016 Songwriting Prize, which celebrates outstanding songwriting in both English and French that has been released over the past year. Nominees for this year's prize include Tara Lightfoot, Jazz Cartier, and Dilly Dally, to name a few. And the winner gets $10,000 as well as a handful of instruments. And Sarah, no question, there's a lot of talent on this list. Uh, for instance, my favorite three would be Spec One's Black Body, Jazz Cartier's Dead or Alive, and Daniel Caesar's Paradise with Bad Bad Not Good. Like you said, it's a pretty stacked roster. Uh, happy to see lots of bands that did make it. Personally, I probably would have included Pup's DVP. It squeaked into the eligibility period by a couple days, I think. But it's just a perfect pop punk song uh, with a blatant shout out to Toronto. That would have been my pick. <laughs> To find out how you can vote for your favorite pick in the 2016 SoCan Songwriting Contest, head to exclaim.ca for all the info. There's a body in the streets. There are beasts amongst us, hunting kings and queens. Canadian pop punk vets Sum 41 are set to return with a new album this fall, their first since 2011. Titled 13 Voices, the new record is out this October. What does Dave play? Come on! Sadly, I'm very confident Explode. in my knowledge of Sum 41. <laughs> The forthcoming record is notable for two reasons. One, the band have reunited with guitarist Dave Brownsound Bach, and two, Derek Wibley has made a full recovery after four months of hospitalization, where he needed to relearn how to walk, let alone play guitar. The music of Sum 41 came into my life when I was around 10 or 11 years old, when my youngest brother, who was six at the time, picked up a copy of All Killer No Filler on CD, and it was his first album he ever bought. And when we were younger, mom and dad used to let us pick the dinner music that we ate dinner to as a family. And so here's my little brother playing all killer, no filler at dinner while we're trying to sit around the table and eat a wholesome family meal to fat lip or motivation. Better than does this look infected? <laughs> and I have been a fan ever since. 
And that's it for this week's show. Thanks for watching. For more news, interviews, and reviews with all your favorite artists, head to exclaim.ca or pick up our brand new issue complete with our 2016 Festival Guide. Let us know what festivals you're going to check out in the comments below. And join us next week when we compare sunburns. I'm going to win. I mean, I always win. Probably. I bronze pretty nicely this time. I wear SPF 100. It's lit.